Hello Techie. In this session, we will learn how to work with update work queue item processing notes action. Before learning about this action, first we will learn what is processing notes. Processing notes are the tags that are used to identify where the item is in the process. Processing notes are the tags that can be updated or cleared for a selected work queue item without the changing the item state or other properties. All right, to make you understand, let me switch to the Power Automate and then I'm navigating to work queues. Inside my work queues, I'm having product sales work queues where lot of work queue items have been loaded over here. There you can see I'm having the columns such as name, end queue time, completed on, status, priority, delay until, input, unprocessing nodes, and many other columns are available. Over here, we are having the column called processing nodes. This is where we are going to work with. We are going to update or adding or inserting these processing nodes for each and every work item. These processing nodes are available in every work queue item such as add work queue item, update work queue item, and requeue item with delay actions. There you can see inside my add work queue item action, I'm having processing nodes. As well as if you go for the update work queue item action, there you can see I'm having processing nodes. And then requeue item with delay action, there is also I'm having the parameters such as processing nodes. All right, these processing nodes can be updated or cleared for the selected work queue item without changing its state or other properties. Now, in this session, we are going to learn how to update the processing nodes by using the action called update work queue item processing nodes action. There you can see this action updates the processing nodes of a specific work queue item which we are having in the work queue. Now, if you see the parameters, the first parameter is the work queue item. Where we are going to use this update work queue item processing nodes inside my processing work queues items action. Now, for each and every work queue item action, I'm going to give the parameter over here work queue item as work queue item which we are going to get it add this variable from the processing work queue items action. Now, processing nodes, I'm going to give it the tag over here, such as update work queue item processing nodes action I have given as the processing item. Whenever you're going to enable this property that is clear processing nodes, then in that case, this processing nodes will be disabled and then it will clear the nodes in the database also, which we are having in the Power Automate desktop. All right. For the time being, I have given the processing notes as update work queue item processing notes action is my notes over here. All right, let me click on save. Now, once again, let me switch to the Power Automate. And then if you go for the work queues, there are the work queue items are available in the product sales work queue, right? Now, by using process work queue item action, we are going to process the queued items to processing, right? Now, if you see over here, I'm having 7352, which is in queued. After that, 7354, which is in queued status. After that, there are so many work queue items are there, which are in queued to process each and every work queue item, right? It will pick over here the queued one, which is, it will pick the work queue item and then it will process. And then what it will do, it will update the process notes by using update work queue item processing notes action. All right, let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. There you can see, by using process work queue items action, it will process the work queue items from the work queue that is product sales work queue. Now you can see over here, what is the work queue item has been picked? That is PROD 07354. There you can see this is the act, this is the work queue item which has been picked from the work queue that is product sales work queue. All right. Now let's click on OK. Now what it will do, it will update the processing nodes of the particular work queue item by using update work queue item processing nodes action. Let's click on run. And then I'm going to pass this desktop flow for some time to make you understand. Now let me go back to the Power Automate. There you can see I'm going to refresh this work queue that is product sales work queue. Let me click on refresh. There if you observe the work item that is PROD 07354, previously it was in queued status, right? And the priority is normal. And there you can see the processing notes previously it was null, 
now it has been updated with update work queue item processing nodes with the tag which we have given inside our action all right the same thing will be happen for each and every work queue item which are there in the queue by using the action called update work queue item processing nodes action this update work queue item processing nodes action will be used to identify where the item is in the processing all right i hope you understand how to work with update work queue item processing nodes action as part of this tutorial